Hello, social media friends. I'm Viridiana Marquez with DRB Media Communications Digital News. And Danny Barrera has the story. On Monday, July 17th, Mayor Javier Hoban disclosed in a press conference of a serious data breach allegedly conducted by the former city attorney. The breach was discovered by the city of Odessa and its personnel. The focus of the internal investigation is on emails allegedly acquired and transferred to a personal Google email account associated with Natasha Brooks within a 24-hour period after her termination. A very preliminary investigation has been launched has revealed the following. That the city attorney, the former city attorney's uh, account was used to access city uh, Odessa's network as recently as last week. Sensitive information had been accessed. There's been a transfer of emails to a private account. Also, an ongoing investigation also reveals that a number of the systems was also accessed. Personnel information. Also, uh, government Q&A, which is uh, the city where it hosts all of its system for public information. During the special meeting of the Odessa City Council, the interim IT director answered questions on the various topics regarding the data breach, including the delay in deactivating the former city attorney's city government email account. It was a pretty extensive brief. Uh, basically, was able to address uh, the take us from a step by step uh, from December 13th, 14th, all the way up to uh, January 4th, and then after January 9th to uh, up to uh, July 5th. So it was a process of what happened. He had to, basically this is an IT person, and he's the, uh, the, the interim director. So when he's basically communicating the system and munis and things of that nature, he had to also remember that we're not IT coordinated. And so we had to put it in a sense where we could consume it and, and, and simplify it. And so he was able to do that and of how and what are the possibilities of how this can, uh, this occurred and how we, we, we need to prevent it. It's more the policies of what, what should have happened and didn't, and didn't happen. At the end of the City Council Executive Session, Mayor Javier Hoban read an affidavit on the duration and scope of the investigation. Affidavit of Mayor Javier Hoban, State of Texas, County of Equity. Before me, the undersigned authority personally appeared, Javier Hoban, who being by me duly sworn to post as follows. One, my name is Javier Hope. Two, I am over the age of 18 years. And three, I am duly elected mayor for the city of Odessa, Texas. Four, I have been mayor since December 2020. Five, I am ex executing this affidavit on behalf of the city council for the city of Odessa, Texas. I am six, on or about Wednesday, July 12, 2023, at approximately 12.40 p.m., I was made aware of the city of Odessa data breach by interim city manager Agapito Pernal, city attorney Daniel C. Jones, and Wyoming former city attorney Natasha L. Brooks. Item 7, former city attorney Natasha L. Brooks was terminated by the city council for the city of Odessa, Texas on Tuesday, December 13, 2022, and again on Monday, January 9, 2023. Item 8, former city attorney Natasha L. Brooks access to the computer network, email system, and or share drive was to be terminated on December 13, 2022. Nine, it is my belief that an employee failed to disable the, the email and login for former city attorney Tasha L. Brooks after being directed to do so by former assistant city manager Cindy Muncie on December 13, 2022. Item 10, interim city manager Ben Nile and city attorney Jones informed me that the public information coordinators and Fair Rainier had discovered the data breach earlier Wednesday, July 12, 2023. Item 11, my understanding that the public information coordinator Rainier was fulfilling a public information request when she discovered that someone had been accessing the former city attorney, Natasha L. Brooks, City of Odessa, Texas, home work email, in Brooks at odessa-dx.gov, to send documents which belong to the City of Odessa, Texas, and to a personal email account and government email account at Iowa County, Texas. Item 12, the, after the termination dates of the former city attorney and Tasha L. Brooks, the city of Odessa did not give her or anyone else effective consent to access the computer network email system and or share drive owned by the city of Odessa, Texas. And item 13, the computer network email system and or share drive is owned by the government entity, specifically home owned municipality in the state of Texas. Further, I have to say it now. I've been holding it 
Odessa Police is the lead law enforcement agency investigating the data breach along with an unknown agency that may or may not be law enforcement. For DRB Media Communications Digital News, Danny Barrera. Thank you for following us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and our website, DRB Media Communications Digital News. TV. For DRB Media Communications Digital News, Viridiana Marquez.